Hey guys and gals, Billy Pipe Smoker here. It's been a while since I did a pipe video. The weather here in uh, Pennsylvania has just been outstanding for pipe smoking. Um, and actually last night I got down to about 30 so our cars were all crusted in ice and <clears throat> not a not a pleasant thing to deal with but for the most part it's been in the 60s and 70s and and it's just this is what you what I wait for all year um, for smoking a pipe I don't enjoy smoking a pipe that much in the summertime um, <clears throat> just because it's it's hot and it, this, to me it makes the pipe hotter as well so um, today I'm smoking a Peterson Royal Irish Russell Air and in it I'm smoking some McCraney's Canterbury it's a broken flake and actually a lot of the flakes are intact but uh, I definitely would consider it a broken flake especially since it comes in bulk you really can't keep the flakes together but uh, if you guys have never have never ordered from McCraney's um, you, you go online and you set up an account and um, if you order uh, things like tobacco, nothing expensive, um, they ship it to you and ship you an invoice where you send them back money. So, I mean, that's, that's the old way of doing business and, and I appreciate it. <clears throat> I guess if you buy a pipe that sends you a PayPal invoice, which you can pay, obviously they don't want to uh, get into sending somebody a pipe and never get paid for it. So, but anyway, the purpose of this video <clears throat> is to I guess say why or why I enjoy smoking a pipe or how I determine whether I like a tobacco. I guess they're, it's kind of combined. Um, the reason why I smoke a pipe is it's, it forces me to relax. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I can stick a, a pipe in my mouth and, and do things and, and work, and I did that for years uh, when I worked in construction. But now I almost always just smoke when I'm either working at my desk or um, relaxing, watching a movie, surfing the web, reading, whatever. So it's more of a relaxation thing for me now. Um, and <clears throat> it's nice to, um, to connect the two. Um, so, and how I determine whether I like a tobacco. Um, it's really, it's really, I mean, the, the, the tin note, it doesn't really do anything for me because the tobacco rarely smells the same in the tin and when it's burning so um, that the tin note and some of the McClellan blends have that ketchupy it never never tastes like ketchup or smells like ketchup when you burn it so but um, <clears throat> so the tin note isn't is it as important to me uh, the taste if it's a bad taste, it, it certainly matters. Um, I, I can I can sip a bourbon and give you ten different flavors. I get eight, six, eight, ten different flavors depending upon the bourbon. <clears throat> Little nuances in the flavor. I really can't do that with a t with tobacco. So, for me, it, if it's not bad, that's good. Um, there are some tobaccos like the Christmas cheer when I'm. Uh, I drink black coffee, and when I drink black coffee and smoke that tobacco, it actually tastes like there's cream in the coffee. Uh, I know I've said that before. So that, that's kind of unique. But um, so as far as taste goes, I really can't, I really don't have any discernible taste of the tobacco. All of my enjoyment comes from my nose, comes from the burning of the tobacco itself. And <clears throat> obviously that also correlates with the room note. The room note is going to be pretty much what the tobacco smells like burning but um, I'll, I'll kind of maybe, maybe I can give you an example of, of what I what I do or how I determine whether or not I like that particular tobacco S you know assuming it doesn't bite it doesn't have leave a bad taste in your mouth um, uh, or isn't an unpleasant in some way that would s even prevent me from getting to this step so When you get it lit and you get the, the wisp coming off of the pipe, it's that 
smoke that I want to smell. It's that smoke. Smelling that is how I determine whether I'm going to like this tobacco. And there's a lot of different ways to do it. Obviously, you're smelling it as it comes off now. Sorry, guys, I should have tamped this before I got on. I need to relight it again. But also, what I love to do is I'll just hold a pipe on my mouth and very, very, very gently blow air into the... And that is, is my best determining factor of whether or not I like a tobacco. If I enjoy that wisp coming off of the tobacco, you could almost take the tobacco and light it in, a, in an ashtray independent of smoking it. Or if you ever dumped a dottle out that's still lit and you get that little wisp if it's still burning. If that's not enjoyable to me, if that doesn't please me, if, if I don't find that to be enjoyable, that, that I won't smoke the tobacco any longer. So, um, so it also obviously matters um, the consistency that whether I don't know. I, I also want tobacco to last long. So if it burns real quick and, and is done, it's it's never going to give me that good flavor. And I think maybe that's why I enjoy flakes more or broken flakes or <clears throat> tobacco that has some broken flake in it, such as the uh, um, Curatuck with McCraney's. It's got some regular tobacco and some broken flake in it as well. So it, it's those things that are burning and it burns. Once it gets lit, it burns real slow and just lets off a little bit of, of smoke. And, and I think maybe that's why I like flake tobacco better um, because I get that from the flake tobacco. I don't necessarily get it from regular tobacco, the pleasing uh, Other than that, it looks like the uh, Southern Fried Pipe Club's uh, meetup. Uh, that's more than a meetup. Convention, pipe show, uh, was a huge success. It's not something I ever uh, get to do. Um, I'd like to at some point, I'm sure, but there are many of them around the country. Anyway, guys, that'll do it for today. I hope you have a great uh, day. Or evening if you're watching this at nighttime. All the best.